Hello, I'm Hannah and welcome to my fragrance video. I am a makeup lover who likes to smell good. I am not a fragrance expert by any means. So if it irks you to hear someone talk about perfume who doesn't like really know what they're talking about, then this isn't the video for you. There's tons of people on YouTube that are experts. I just happen to not be one of them. But if you're curious about my kind of like amateur perspective on perfume and my picks as someone who only buys vegan and cruelty free, then I'm here to share with you what I got. So we're going to be doing a couple different things. The first thing is that I have two new fragrances from K Alley that I'm going to talk about my thoughts on. I'll also talk about my like preferred scent profile, I guess first, so you have an idea of where I'm coming from with all my thoughts. We'll talk about my collection, my favorites, and I have some little samples that I want to go through and declutter some of. So let's get into that. I only got into fragrance a couple years ago. I feel like there was a long period of time where I was interested in like the concept of being a fragrance person, but I had never smelled a fragrance beyond like florally things that department stores smell like. And it wasn't until I like smelled the first perfume that was like for me that I that I got it. I'm still kind of exactly putting together what my scent profile is and there's some relationships I don't quite understand yet that if I do I only like this when it's in conjunction with this and stuff like that but I can tell you that I like musks, I like powder scents, I like sandalwood, I like coconut and vanilla. There's also a lot of words that intrigue me, but I don't know if it's just kind of like, I like the imagery of them. Like I like the idea of like pistachio and nuts. There's sometimes I like florals in my fragrances, but I think florals might be something I only like when they're combined with certain other things. So I'm still kind of working through all that, but I'll tell you what I like. We'll look at some of the notes of them and yeah. But as I said, first, I have two new Kayali fragrances. I bought Love Fest and I bought Vanilla Royale, which I think these are the two newest ones from Kayali and they both are vegan and I was intrigued by them. I had sniffed the like regular vanilla from Kayali at one point and I liked the way it smelled, but that formula isn't vegan. So when they announced this Royale sugared patchouli, I was really excited about it. I made myself fragrance things. This to me smells very warm and it smells very much like patchouli, like incense-y. And I think that the vanilla kind of sweetens it, but overall it's way too patchouli-y for me. And I'm not the biggest fan of it. If it was a candle, I would burn it but I don't want to wear it all over my body. Like it smells like a really good smelling like store where they sell incense, but not something that I feel compelled to smell like. And that's kind of the extent of the reviews that you can expect to get from me. <laughs> the other new one is Love Fest Burning Cherry, which I didn't buy when it first came out, but I was intrigued enough by the description that I was like, maybe that is something that I like. And I feel like things like cherry in the descriptions do intrigue me. This to me, smells like a really good smelling foam hand soap. Like something you would get from Bath and Body Works and your rich friend in middle school has in their bathroom. When I first got these, I like sprayed one on each hand and I liked Burning Cherry better than I liked Vanilla Royale, but I couldn't get the image of hand soap out of my head. I think it just smells like a sweet cherry fragrance. It doesn't smell like it has more going on to it. It doesn't smell like an interesting story. It smells pretty like ordinary and accessible as in Bath and Body Works in 2005. Again, if it was a candle, I would burn it. Why don't they come out with candles? That would be sick. And I would definitely want both of those as candles, but I think these ones are probably gonna go back to Sephora for me. I was really hoping that I would love them, but I don't love them. Let's get into my favorite fragrance, which is another Kayali fragrance. And this is Musk, Musk 12. This to me smells like a really good smelling bathroom and I love it. It smells like a really fancy old lady. You go into her bathroom, she has her like mysterious powders set up everywhere. The floor is pink, the walls are shiny black, and she just seems like the most fabulous person you've ever met. 
this is a fragrance that's like it's like light and easy but it does have like a good scent retention i feel like i stopped smelling it on myself after maybe like an hour but i was talking to someone about it once and i was like oh i think it wore off and then she sniffed it and she's like it didn't wear off <laughs> this is actually my second one of this this is my first one i bought this last year during the vib sale and i used it up and this year i bought a new one it's the same exact thing other than the new one I got had like a cap that just like slid on and off. The old one, you could like kind of feel it a little bit more, like it feels more secure. So I just switched the cap and I'm gonna empty, empties this one right now with the worse cap. I had a revelation about this though that I would like to share or I had a revelation because of this, I should say. And the revelation is that you don't need to buy full-size fragrances. I mean, you do you, you do whatever you want, but I think I always had this idea in my head that I was buying the small version of this last year, and if I like it, then I'll buy the big one. There was times I wanted to buy the big one before I even finished the little one, but then I was like, you know, I'll wait till I finish the little one, and then I'll buy the big one. But I just realized that this had been my first year of having this fragrance. It was my favorite. It's not necessarily going to stay my favorite. Also, because it was small, I threw it in my bag and I brought it with me a lot of the times. And if this was 100 milliliters, I wouldn't throw it in my bag and bring it with me. So the size of it makes it easier to use. The fact that it's new means it gets used more. So I could guess that the first year using it, would be like the year that I use most of. And using it up in a year is fine, like that's good. And then I started to think that like, this 10 milliliters, it took me a year to use up. If I bought the 100 milliliters, that would take me 10 years to use up if I used it just as much as I used it the first year, which I probably wouldn't, you know? And I was like, I couldn't imagine having this sitting there for 10 years. I feel like it, it perfumes, don't last 10 years. I mean, I've heard some people say that they do, but I've had, in my experience, perfumes go bad after a couple years. I don't know, maybe some people spray way more than I do. I tend to do maybe like two or four sprays a day, but the fact that like I would consider buying a bottle that would take me 10 years to use up, but realistically more, that sounds so crazy to me. And like, I wouldn't be saving money. I think this one is like $25 and the 10 milliliters is like 100. So it would take me four years using 40% of the 100 milliliters to equal buying four of these. And then after the four year mark, the 40% mark is when I would start like saving money. I just thought that was interesting. It kind of like changed my perspective on fragrance. And I was like, I need to stop thinking of this as like the dinky one and the big one as like what I want to have because I don't want to have fragrance sitting around for years because I know that it'll start like looking old, that writing might get rubbed off, I might get sick of it, and then it's just gonna be like sitting there until I'm in my 40s. I do think it's cool with Kayali that they have the smaller sizes in this bottle that's like a spray bottle and everything like that, but even my other fragrances that are rollerballs, I'm changing my perspective on and I'm like, I'm down for the smaller size because I don't wanna buy something that's going to take me more than 10 years to use up and might not even make it to the four year mark when I might start like, you know, reaping the benefit of buying the bigger size. My next two favorites are both from Seven Virtues and I have in both this rollerball size, but one of them, it must be in a bag somewhere and I don't know where it is, but I'll still tell you about it. The one that's not in a bag somewhere and is in my hand is Vanilla Woods. I think this one smells so, sweet. It's like the perfect vanilla woodsy scent. It like doesn't smell like more than that. It's so like comforting, but also sweet. I think I said that. And I'm not someone who like dedicates my perfumes to certain times of the year. I actually try to not do that with like anything I own because then you just make your stuff feel like bad or old for part of the year. But I could imagine someone using this as their like perfect like fall and winter scent because of the woodsiness of it. I really like it. I also have Santal Vanille from them. That's the one that I can't find. And that one's like a sandalwood vanilla. And that's what made me realize that I like sandalwood 
it smells so good. It almost smells like chocolate, but it doesn't smell so much like chocolate that like it's downright chocolatey because I'm not a big chocolate person, but I really like the two of those. They're definitely my like runners up for my favorite. I could wear those every day also. And they are ones that like I looked at as being like small and dinky until I had my revelation about musk. And I'm like, I wish this was a spray bottle and not a rollerball, but like it's fine. It's what I have and it's very portable. The next one is Missing Person from Fleur. I talked about this in a recent what I bought video. I think I got this in August and I really like it. It is like the strongest scent that I have. And I think I said in that video that like if I spray it in an enclosed space, it has the potential to give me a headache. So it's not an everyday fragrance, but it's not like, I don't know how to say it right. Like it's not something that like I'm dealing with. I genuinely love this fragrance. If I lost it, I would repurchase it. It's just that it's not an everyday fragrance for me. This one smells musky. Let me see what it says. I, I hope I've been putting the notes up there because I know I'm, I'm like barely describing it. <laughs> yeah, this one says it has skin musk, bergamot nectar, and blonde wood. So the musk and the wood definitely fit into my scent profile. The nectar, I don't know if that's something that I like this in spite of or if that's something that is a note that I like. But I see what they mean about the like nostalgia scent and I think that's the musk and I think the musk is the big draw for me on this also. I really like that one. And this one also, it looks like a little rollerball size like the Seven Virtues, but it is a spray. This Elizabeth and James one is the fragrance that I mentioned that like got me into fragrances. I had smelled this in Sephora. I, I don't even know why I was looking at fragrances, but I sprayed this on myself. I left the store. I was carrying on in the mall and I was like, why does my wrist smell like the best smell that I've ever smelled? And it was because of this. I still don't know how to describe that. Big surprise. I don't know if I said what this is, but it's the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black. I think it's a brand that was like made by Mary Kate and Ashley and they don't make it anymore, but I think it is still like available secondhand and stuff. It says it's vanilla, violet, and sandalwood. So that actually makes a lot of sense, but like, I don't know if it's just the marketing of it being the black one, but it does smell like deeper and darker than other fragrances I have. And this one actually, I've probably had this for like five or six years. And I think it still smells like just as good as it used to. When I had first gotten this, I was still like not in the habit of wearing perfume and I didn't always wear it. And I remember in 2016, I started seeing someone and I was like, you know, I'm gonna make it my point to wear my fragrance every time I see him. And I want it to be like my signature scent, you know? And I remember our first couple of dates, he was sneezing a lot. <laughs> and then on like maybe our third or fourth date, we realized it was my perfume that was making him sneeze. So then I had to stop wearing it around him. <laughs> That's a funny memory, but yeah, I still really, really like it. And then my other full size is this one from Pinrose. I had gotten a set from them years ago, just like the little sample sprays. And actually I still have a couple that I'll show you. And this was the one that I decided I liked from it. I wanted to buy like a full size fragrance. This one smells like a lot lighter and airier in my non-professional opinion. And it almost smells like a more florally version of Kaali Musk because it has that bathroom scent that I think is just the powder note, but it smells really good. This, when I was on my way to my fourth date, with my boyfriend now, I went into 7-Eleven and I was wearing this and the uh, cashier asked me to write down what I was wearing because she liked it. Next, I have a couple from Sol de Janeiro. I really like their scents. They fit right into my scent profile. They have that like coconutty vanilla thing kind of like going on in all of their fragrances. This one is their regular Brazilian crush. It says on the back of it, yeah, pistachio caramel. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like cereal. It smells like waffle crisp cereal, which was my favorite for a really long time. This one's like super, I want to say luxurious, but it just feels like a heavy scent. 
and it smells like like maple syrup. I really like it. <laughs> this one, I might have it coming up, but I remember I had a little sample of the actual perfume version because when I first got this, I wanted to like be cooler and have the perfume version instead of the body spray version. And I don't like the perfume version as much as I like this. I do forget to use this but I do like it and I'm happy I have it. I also have in the same size as that, the coconut cream and toasted praline one. Oh, this one smells so good. This one smells like more intense coconut to me and it smells so good. I generally feel like I like this one more than I like this one, but like right now this one's like hidden the spot that smells delicious. I really like the size of these, but these both came in gift sets and the normal small size that you can buy for $19 is this one. This is my third place, which it kind of annoys me that this one's so much bigger than these two. Like I wish they were all the same uniform size. This is the Black Amber Plum and Vanilla Woods. And every time I've smelled this to be like, oh, maybe I'll want to declutter this and just have the two that I like best in the smaller size that I like best. I sniff this and I'm like, I don't want to declutter this. Sometimes if I'm trying to use up a perfume or like sick of spraying it on myself or something like that, I'll use it as a room spray. And I could see myself doing that with this just because like I'm never going to get through this. I've had it for like maybe a year and a half or two years. I've used that much of it. I'm going to have this forever. So I probably will start using it as a room spray. Yeah. And this has some floral fragrances in it too. It has the notes listed here. Do I like that? Do I just like... Do I just like that or do I only like that when it also has vanilla in it? Someone read my mind for me, please. Okay, now we're getting down to the little guys. So I have three fragrance oils. These two are from ColourPop. This was from a gift set that I got in maybe 2019 or 2020. It was actually three of them, but there was a rose scented one that I decluttered. I used to think that I liked rose scents and I'm realizing now that like, I just, I don't like rose scents. And I think that the lotion that made me think I liked rose scents, I think it was an almond scent. But the two that I kept, Sunkiss Coconut and Sea Bloom, these are both very like simple, easy to wear oils. I don't like them much for like day to day because like it is literally leaving an oil on your wrist and I feel like that's going to get on my clothes and get messy and stuff. But I do use these before I go to bed and I like it for that purpose, but it's more of like, I like it for the purpose to use these up and I don't, I don't need to be doing that. So they're both getting down there. And my goal is to use them up in 2023. I think that's reasonable. I kind of forgot about them for a lot of this year, but I think if I stay on it, I can do it by the end of 2023. The other oil I have, it says Auric Blends on it. Yeah, it has an address in California. I'm pretty sure that I got this when I was in California with my family in 2003. We did a road trip from San Francisco down to LA and like stopped at the Hertz Castle and Yosemite and like a lot of little places along the way. And I'm pretty sure we went into like a little shop and that's where I got this. And I'm pretty sure it still smells good. I don't know what it smelled like 19 years ago, <laughs> nearly 20 years ago, but I'm pretty sure it still smells good. Like I think it's a funny thing that I still have. So I'm not in much of a rush to use it up like I am with the ColourPop. Like I, I prefer to have this sitting there on my shelf than the ColourPop, but I think after I finish up the ColourPop oils, I'll start using this one when I'm going to bed. This one smells kind of like herbally, kind of like patchouli-ish, kind of like a good smelling incense shop. And then I have all these little minis, some that I purchased, some that I acquired. I have a little mini of the Pillow Talk Poet. This is what inspired me to buy the big one. And when I do want to use Pillow Talk Poet and go out with it, or if I'm going on vacation, I might throw this in my bag. So definitely keeping this one. But I have two others that are both from the same fragrance kit from um, Pinrose. I have Wild Child and Gilded. I took like two notes. Oh no, I didn't take a note on this one. <laughs> but I think Gilded smells like, like an overindulgent sunscreen kind of like a sickening sunscreen. And this also, it's been a couple years. I don't know if the scent changed because I kept this because I didn't mind the scent, but I am trying to be more strict than I used to be. I used to like keep fragrances 
if I didn't dislike the scent and now I'm only trying to keep things that like I actively like and I'm like, ooh, I really like that. Yeah, this kind of feels like, like the sun, but like turned up a notch, like summer sunscreen, maybe coconutty or caramelly or something, but like turned up a little bit too far. And I'm gonna declutter this one. And then I also have Wild Child. And I remember when I bought the set, I feel like Wild Child was like the, the, the one that everyone wanted from Pinrose. And I never liked it that much. This one smells like rose. Yeah, this one smells very florally and I'm going to declutter this one. It's not bad, it's not a floral that I hate, but it's not a floral that like I want to wear. And if I have so many others, that I never get through, that I want to wear more, I definitely don't wanna keep things like that around. Cause if I'm like planning to pan that, I'm not using these. This is one that I did take a note on. It's the Fenty Fragrance. When this came out, I was so excited about it. It's just like the marketing for fragrance gets me sometimes and like other makeup things, I feel like I can logic myself out of pretty easily and just remind myself it's not gonna change my life. But like for a fragrance, I'm like, what if that is like my it fragrance. So I got this sample by spending like $40 on her website. This was a couple years ago. And like the whole experience just like wasn't worth it. <laughs> I wrote down that this smells like orange sunscreen and it dries more orange. I think I remember it being described as kind of like an amber citrus. I don't like citrus. I think I'd prefer rose over citrus. So I'm, I used most of it, but like, I'm not gonna bother finishing it up. I also have a little mini one of Vanilla Woods, which is the rollerball that I really like. And this is the same deal as my little Pillow Talk Poet that like I'll throw this in my bag to travel, or if I'm already wearing that one, I might throw this in my bag to like go out at night, something like that. And then here is what I mentioned before, the Sol de Janeiro, the actual perfume version of their like Boom Boom cream scent. Yeah, this one like it smells good, but it doesn't smell as good as the body spray. And I think for that reason, I should declutter it because I would rather just use the body spray than use this one. This one just smells like, it smells like a nice, pleasant coconut, but it doesn't, like I don't smell that like intense, luxurious caramel in it also. My last three are all from Le Labo. And I wanted to be a fancy Le Labo girl so bad. And I bought these samples for $6 each. I think about a year ago, I like read all the descriptions so many times and I decided on them and none of them, none of them are for me. Santal 33, which is their it girl. I like this one enough to use it as a room spray and that's what I've been doing. This to me smells like a fancy little store in the city that you go into and they, they sell like bars of soap and they just have like six bars of soap on their walls and they have like a quiet, little lady in the back who's like way too cool for you and both of you know it. That's what this one smells like and I'll spray it in my room. It smells like very sandal woody. The other two I don't like at all. We have another 13 which I wrote down it smells like a chlorine pool and it dries kind of soapy. That's what I think of this one. And then the other one is Tonka 25. Ugh. Yeah this one smells like like sandalwood, but like in such like a raw woody way. <laughs> I think the thing with these is like, they don't have anything sweet in them that I can smell to like balance it out. And it just smells kind of intense. Like this, I could imagine being a fancy store smell also, but I don't think I need to keep it. And that's my fragrance collection. I hope this was fun to watch. I'm sorry again for my lack of knowledge. Um, if you have any recommendations, I'd be curious to hear what they are. I don't know, I like the fragrance world, but I'm also trying to remember that like, fragrance is so personal and if I already have all of these bottles that I really like, I don't need to constantly be looking for more. So maybe don't tell me your recommendations. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, I hope this was fun. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for being here. Bye.